let's talk about the Fear Street books. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you probably only know the new sh movies, which I have not watched the movies. I might one day. I really enjoyed reading the books when I was a young adult, a kid. I was probably younger than I should have been reading them because they got dark. Like, they got really dark. And a lot of parents probably didn't even realize how dark these books got because they're just books. You know, people tend to let the darker things, the more grotesque, slide in books than they would in movies. So when you were a reader like me, you got it, you, you, you noticed all of these things. And so when I get really stressed and overwhelmed, one of the things that helps me sometimes is going back and reading a book from my childhood, um, something that makes me feel, you know, comfortable, familiar. And so I am going to be going back and be rereading some Fear Street books. Uh, for you guys, I'm going to read them aloud. Um, I'm going to start with what is my favorite series, which is the Cheerleader series. There were four books in it. Um, I, I remember the books. I don't remember like a whole lot, but I do remember them. Like I remember um, in one of them, there was a bus crash and like the entire football team died. Like, there, it was raining or something, and there was a bus crash. Um, there's a girl who dies in, I think, boiling water in a shower that she can't get open. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. And there's four books in that series, so I'm going to be uploading those. And then I'm also going to be trying to do the other favorite series of mine from Fear Street, which was the 99 Fear Street series, which had three books in it. And that one was about the house at 99 Fear Street. And um, again, I remember very little, but what I remember is very, you know, in my brain. Like the first book, um, it follows a family that moves in. And I remember the father goes blind. Um, the brother and the dog disappear. And then they're found in a later book, hold up in the wall as skeletons. <laughs> like... Um, there are, t there are sisters and one of them dies and then she converses with the other one from the other realm. It's a trip. It's a trip. So, um, over the next couple of weeks, I'll be, I'll be doing that. And, um, for those of y'all who might be here for my gaming, I will still be gaming. I have finished with, um, Laplace's Demon and I will be uploading those um, those videos uh, it'll it'll take a little bit there's quite a few <laughs> there, there's a couple videos that I've made that I haven't uploaded yet I have very slow data right now I changed my phone plan for financial reasons and so now the most of my stuff I'm uploading is when I'm gone when I'm out on the streets and using free Wi-Fi um, normally I'll stay up at night and I'll upload that stuff, but it's very cold out there and y'all are kind of ungrateful. So while I'm still going to be putting stuff up, I'm not going to be leaving myself out in the cold for a couple of hours to upload game footage for people who really don't even like me. I am still going to be uploading though, because there are a few people who do like me and do like the games and hopefully will enjoy the books. But um, I'm not focusing as much of my attention on getting things uploaded because y'all aren't giving me anything back for it. All I ever get is hatred. So it'll still get uploaded, just not as quickly as it was before.